So we went up to this family and we're talking to the husband who could speak English and Spanish very well. And at first they didn't want, they didn't seem to have anything for us to pray. He goes, oh, my wife prays in the morning. So she was walking out of the store and I said, oh, your husband told me you pray in the morning. Good. She couldn't understand a word I was saying. So I said, will you please, I said, will you interpret? So I said, ask her if I could pray for her in the name of Jesus. So he did. And did a blessing prayer pretty much for her mother's birthday that was today. And then for some reason, God, God just had me go look past her. And there was a young man standing there. And you'll see the video. And I said, is this your son? And he said, no, um, he's visiting on a visa. And uh, I said, oh, OK. And and then somehow in the conversation, he said he can't hear and he can't speak. I said, he's, he's deaf and, and dumb? And he said, yes. So uh, I thought, oh boy, here goes Holy Spirit. So I said, ask him if I could pray for him in the name of Jesus. And, and, and he, he asked him in sign language because he, he can't hear. So he signed it to him and the kid nodded his head, yes. So I immediately went over to him, stuck my fingers in his ears, and just said, in the name of Jesus, I bind that deaf and dumb, mute spirit, command you to come out now, in Jesus' name. And I speak to all parts of his ears to be healed now, in the name of Jesus. Took my fingers off, and I said to the kid, can you hear? And he nodded his head, yes. <laughs> we almost fell over. <laughs> But that's our Jesus, you know, that, that's our Jesus. So I, I was astonished. So I said to the, the guy with him, I said, I said, he can, he can hear. I said, tell him to repeat what I say, to repeat what I say. And you know, when a person's been mute all their life, they really have a hard time making sounds. They really can't. So I, I said, uh, I said to him, you can hear, right? And the interpreter said that to him, and he nodded his head, yes, again. And I'm still in shock. And so I just said to him, now say this, and I forgot the first word I asked him to repeat. It wasn't Jesus, it was hello, I think, or something. And he said, kind of muffled the word, wow. something like that. It wasn't clear, but he was trying to say, that he could hear what I was saying, and trying to say it. So um, so we were just, then his wife came and his kids were there and his little boy was there and, and we're just like praising God. And I said to the lady that we had prayed for, this, Rosa, I said, Rosa, come here, come here, come here. You want to see a miracle, Rosa? Come on over here. So she came over and I told her that um, this kid just received hearing and could speak. And I said to her, would you interpret for me? Because we were trying to talk her into coming to be our interpreter at the mall because she could speak English and Spanish. And so she just went off talking to him in Spanish. And he's nodding his head the whole time that she's speaking to him in Spanish. So that means he can hear. And, uh, and so I asked the guy that was with him, does he hear completely well? I mean, he's, can he hear completely? And he, he asked him and, he, and he, he said something like that. So I told her, put your hands, Rosa, put your hands on his ears and say this. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for healing him. Now I command that his ears to be totally open. And Jesus, well, she went off in Spanish for like three minutes. So I don't know what she was saying, but she was having at it. <laughs> oh, she's, she's getting broken in. She's a natural. She'd be great with great commission training. She just broken in. And so I had to stop her actually because she went on and on and on. I said, well now ask him if he can hear. So she said it in Spanish and she's talking to him in Spanish and he's like, uh-huh, yeah. And you'll see the video. We got video of this. And so this went on for a few minutes and then finally uh, we're all just watching this kid and praising God. And we ended with telling him, uh, just keep praising God. So that's the normal. Christian life. Right guys? Right. Yes. The normal Christian yes. life. Yes.
come and see us at the mall and experience some of this normal Christian life. Bye-bye for now.